It's good morning. We are once again Tao overflows. This time on karmas, one of the most misunderstood subject. If you ask anyone, they will start quoting the scriptures, Bible, Quran, Bhagavad Gita. You can take that that sutra from wherever it is, and if you have understood it, you can explain it in a simplified manner in using the analogy and examples that relate to each and every one of us. Then you can understand. And Albert Einstein have said, the intelligence is the one to present the most complicated subject matters in a simplified manner. How many people understand the biblical language in which Bible is written or Persian, which is the language used for Bible, for Quran or Sanskrit language, which is the language of the, the scriptures. Also, none of these languages remain static. They keep on changing their format, the meanings of the words. So, entire chapter is dedicated in Bhagavad Gita on Karma, chapter 3. And the fourth chapter, how you can attain freedom from action. So, I will take one from today and the other first explanation then how to go beyond the actions. The most, one of the famous words from Bhagavad Gita chapter 3 is Sutra 8 Niyatam Kuru Karma Tvam Karma Jayo Akarmanaha Shaririyatra Pichatena Prasiddha Yed Karmanaha Niyatam Kuru Karma Tvam Karma jayo akarmanaha, shariri yatra pichatena, prasiddha yed karmana, niyatam means there are actions if we divide into, it comes into certain actions are bound and unnecessary. There are others which are prohibited. There are others which are special. So, niyatam kuru karma tvam. Niyatam means bounden. Karma means actions. Tvam means you. Niyat kuru means do. It is a verb. You do your bounden duties. You have a body. You have a mind. You have to take care of the body, take care of the mind. Because body, mind is the house, is the palace. It cannot say the soul can, soul deserves a palace. It does not deserve a bedroom, a apartment or a condo or anything. It needs a palace. So palace, it has to be grandeur. It has to be magnificent, everything there. Whatever, so what are there for the soul? A healthy body a healthy mind, the capacity to envision, capacity to hear that which is unheard, to see that is unseen, not that behind the clothes you are seeing the body. You imagine that, you smell that which is cannot be smelled. So, niyatam kuru karma tvam, karma jayo akarma. Without the action, you cannot live. You need food. So, if you are a cook, you have to cook the food. Akarmana means you cannot be without actions. 
you must perform actions in order to maintain the body you have to use the restroom you have to take shower you have to do all that is necessary from time to time sharir yatra pi chatena even the journey of the body cannot continue without performing the actions if you do not <coughs> do not perform actions like exercises physical at the breathing stretch and others <coughs> pranayam the structure of the palace cannot remain suitable for the soul and when soul realizes that the palace that i have decided to enter is not being taken care of properly it is dilapidated it decides to leave the palace and that decision of the soul we call as death so you have to you have a body so you are bounden to take care of it in the best possible manner now i take the example why the actions you are working in an office for the work that you do you get a salary out of the salary there are certain deductions which are compulsory like the insurance plan in western countries in india provident fund some other deductions your income tax and these are the deductions so you have a gross income and you have a disposable income so out of the gross income that you get these compulsory deductions over which you have no control they will be de deducted so your disposable income becomes less the income that you carry and suppose if you have taken a loan for vehicle a mortgage for the house or for something else you have to pay those installments as well so what is happening the your insurance premium your income tax your other things they are compulsory deductions you cannot avoid that there are certain things which you have accumulated you take took a loan you took a mortgage for the business property so this will be continuing until the loan is paid off be it in your life or it will continue after that in the posterity whoever will inherit that business or property so this is how it is said we are doing the good actions good deeds but we are not getting the results you are working hard you are getting x amount of salary but your disposable income is less you forget that these are the necessary deductions which have to be deducted from your salary and these are the accumulated which by virtue of your past actions you have accumulated by taking the loan for the vehicle another loan for your vehicle for your wife then you wanted a loan for the vehicle for your son then you have a property these are accumulated out of your own free will so when we are performing the actions what krishna says the actions which are necessary for the sustenance of the body they are good the other actions are accumulated actions the which come in the category of the actions which we have carried over from the past life so what you have done act your deductions you are carrying over your past actions or past life means in 2009 you have taken a loan you are paying the installment but you forget that but you only see my disposable income is very less who ask you to take that loan who ask you to take the mortgage but you thought it is important to have a better life a better vehicle 
So in the same way, at a time when a person performs the action, he does not know what will be its repercussion after some time. You do not know the, the if you have taken a loan for the business purpose and because you have a business, you have a high salary and suddenly it happens because of recession, you are laid off or business is down. You are not able to pay the mortgage. So you, who are to blame for this? You. You did not foresee, you increased your liabilities in such a way that within your, dispo, within your limited income, it was difficult. Now, when it comes to, when you apply this to your actions, the as time goes on, your body becomes less and less effective, less and less efficient, but you have performed the actions in your childhood which you cannot continue now because body cannot but who will have to pay for that you will not attain to freedom until all those actions that you have performed knowingly or unknowingly you took the loan under emotional thing you uh, <coughs> entering into new relationship so to impress your spouse, impress your wife, you have taken a loan for her to buy a vehicle or for your husband to take a loan or the property. Why all these things are necessary? You have to monitor within, as time goes on, you will have children, you will, everything will increase and your liabilities will increase, but your disposable income will be less. So if we classify this or use this metaphor, disposable income is your bliss, your anand, your state of equanimity. That actions bring to you. So this is getting less and less because of your past actions. You have entered into a wrong relationship. So you're, and now, that time you did not realize, now you realize it is taking away a major part of your equanimity and bliss. There is no peace and harmony at home. So the bliss or the equanimity or harmony that comes when you are performing an action is like your disposable income. The more commitments you do, you did enter into this relationship knowingly. That time in the heat of the emotions you did not realize what will be its repercussion on your equanimity, on your serenity after five years. Now there is no choice but you for you to repent. And any action that has begun it must must attain to fruition. A seed is there, the destiny of the seed is to attain to fruition. The destiny of the seed, that action is, must attain to neutralization. Food you cook out of your action, it must be consumed. If not, you cannot consume, then it has to be disposed of in a proper manner. Proper manner means food, you could not eat that. Suppose if it has too much spices or too much pepper, you order it from the restaurant. So what are you going to do? You spend the money, you buy this, but you cannot consume. Can you leave it just so unattended? No. The wisdom says you cannot, you have to dispose of, otherwise it will decompose. And when it decompose, there will be um, germs, there will be this and that infection. So you have to dispose of in the pos best possible manner. So in the same way, those actions which has been performed wrongly, you have to dispose of in a best possible manner that they dissolve in the existence. So when you dispose of the food, you can use this food which has not been consumed. It could not be consumed in for making 
it can be used to make the organic compost manure so you have to dig it under the soil and it over the period of time it will become so in case of action what you do the soil is your awareness so you have to bury that action out of awareness into the soil of conscious a soil of the existence existence is a soil you have to consciously dispose of so that it becomes a seed and out of the seed new day begins so when you have that you have entered into a relationship and you got into problems one way is you dispo you abandon that relationship with lot of acrimony lot of anger lot of frustration this is one way so you did not know how to decompose that food that your action that you have performed you did not know how to to dispose of that action the other way is you said that there was a time this food i bought in a good expectation to eat but somehow or the other it turned out that i did not like the taste so the money was wasted so you cannot repent for that because it was a part of it was your action nobody forced you to buy that food nobody forced you to go into that relationship but you went out of your own free will you are responsible for it so let there not be any regret let there not be any so maybe this was there for me to learn a lesson that i will not order the food from this restaurant number 1 or if i am ordering that will again be a part of ignorance you did not inform the chef the the person when ordering the food what kind of a spice level you want when i order food i tell them specifically that i do not want pepper and i do not want artificial color in it whether the food is looking good or not you make it for me the way i want it and if it is not that way i am not taking it so you enter into relationship out of your own free will this is your action you have to dispose of willingly joyfully that our life was up to now we were in a flight together flying to reach to another dis- destination our journey has come to an end we have to have our ways and means but goodbye we have spent a time together sitting in a flight next to one another or in a car so there has to be no acrimony no dissent no disturbance then in a way you have dispose of that action so that it decomposes in the soil of the existence out of your awareness it will neutralize it the its negative effects and not only that it will become the manure the fertilize the further actions maybe not your actions when the leaves fall from the tree they gather some of them with the wind they remain within un- in the close the of this tree some fly away so it will happen that their leaves from the other tree will come to this particular tree next tree so the leaves that has gathered at the base of this particular tree may be partly from it partly from the trees in the nearby in the neighborhood and all of this will decompose and will fertilize that tree so your actions will have its cum- effect on the other persons other trees in the neighborhood what are the other trees your children your husband your parents your friends and known and unknown so this tree whose leaves were not all the leaves are ready to perf- make the manure for that some is gone for the other and some of the leaves of the other tree has come to this 
so the fertilize the tree is being fertilized by its partly its own leaves partly from the leaves in the neighborhood this is in short in a way how to explain the actions and how your actions should be performed what understanding should be the sutra says the whole set of sutras the 30 odd sutras niyatam kuru karma tvam karma jayo va karmana sharir yatra pichate na prasiddh yed karmana niyatam niyatam kuru karma tvam karma jayo va karmana sharir yatra pichate na prasiddh yed karmana only this much for this morning tomorrow if you have any question you can send it to me on my messenger whatsapp facebook i will include in the future responses and tomorrow i will how to attain to freedom from your action